What's up, folks? Welcome back to Gamers 8 B Stream. We got our second match of Group D. After well, what an exciting start to our day. Version 1, move on to the semis after beating Cell. It wasn't a sweep, so your brackets are all wrong. Um, <laughs> Team Secret and Koi are up next. Team Secret and Koi are up next. A classic uh, perennial regional qualifying team in Koi, but kind of struggles to make those deeper runs sometimes. Uh, some bigger names in there like Sosa. And Gyro, you may recognize Cheese, a little bit newer to the game, but uh, if you've watched CRL, you, you know who Top Cheese is. He's been around, and he's earning the opportunities. But Team Secret, that South American World Championship contending team, likely the favorite here, but one never knows. What? You know, that's that's the key word. Who knows? We've had Vitality lose today. Everyone's like, oh, Vitality's gonna win again. Well... Sometimes gamers hate is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Team secret, the real secret is, well, where are the Sam haters? Because I think when it comes to predicting this match, you're either a Sam hater or you're not. Well, only one of these teams went to Worlds, but only one of these teams also made this crazy lower bracket run in the Gamers 8 qualifier. Koi are the ones who went to the finals. You got to respect Koi. They're, they're a team that uh, a lot of people always kind of overlook. And I'll admit, even I overlooked them for a while, right? Like, I, I considered them <laughs> bubble players, and then I thought about it, and I was like, no, they're, they're definitely not bubble players. They're consistently qualifying for regionals. Just because they're not making, you know, top eights and stuff doesn't make them not... Uh, uh, it doesn't make them a bubble team is a more accurate way to phrase that. So, uh, yeah. Koi is not one that you can just step over because you, you may run into something that uh, you don't expect. And it's happened before in teams from North America. So if you're South America <laughs> here, you don't want to slip up and overlook them. So, so, you know, listening in for any ones players that are LFT, because when they played in the qualifier, they had a ones player in Cosmic. Uh, I think I'm saying all right. Cosmic. Yes. Uh, Cosmic, who was their substitute that they played in ones, who handled all of those, but he's no longer on the team. So, Koi, <laughs> who are they going to be playing in once? That's the secret. Speaking of which, we got the all-star squad from South America <laughs> representing Brazil here. I love these. I love these poses. <laughs> you gotta get it hyped up. I mean, if you're Team Secret, you're like, I know we just did all this for Worlds, but the hero shots are fun. I love them. I don't know just... why I thought Top Cheese and Cheese were the same person. They're not. <laughs> one's, one's on top, one's not. But <laughs> Cheese, I definitely, I think, has gathered a lot of respect. Um, you're looking for Cheese to have that performance of his career here, had prospects of joining Space Station and the Spring Split. You know, Reddles and other pros have a lot of respect for someone like Cheese. And you got to hope that maybe he could be the one who steps up for ones. At least that's what you thought. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't certain who Koi would yeah. pick for one. I mean, it's it's probably Cheese. He's played more ones, I would say, than, than Gyro <laughs> or Sosa, but he's kind of been out of the 1v1 game for a while, kind of like Tho, so like, maybe. I mean, I, I would have to imagine they go with him or or potentially Gyro, maybe Sosa. It's, it's you know what? Just play three card Monty. Uh, pick your favorite. Rock, paper, uh, scissors. Short yeah, exactly. Straw, like. <laughs> yeah, draw lots. However you want to do it. I, I am not 100% certain who Koi would pick for the 1v1, but I, I think there's no question over on the secret side. They will very likely pick KV1 and say, all right, go to work. And I think that's the right way to do it. Yeah, I think if uh, given the choice, Koi would want to avoid ones, which is something they should definitely do they preferred to choose twos and that's where gyro and cheese played and this was interesting because they only lost to complexity i don't know Ray's bull was the goat when it came to that but um they beat optic in g2 in their twos which was impressive for for a team like koi so see how that goes 2v2 is is kind of a fun i i will say equalizer right because uh, 1v1, you know, obviously, if you play a lot more ones, you, you just have an advantage. 3v3, I mean, it is uh, such a tightly controlled area of things that, like, e there's so much defensive presence in 3v3 that sometimes it can be quite difficult to really crack people open. But 2v2, every player is responsible for so much of the pitch. And there's so much more operating space to work with. So even if you have players on Koi, who I think in a 3v3 against Team Secret, at least in my opinion, may be outclassed, 
2v2 does open up a lot more avenues for success because sometimes that's all you kind of need in, in this environment. If you're a player like Gyro or Cheese or Sosa, you get a little more room to work with and then you start to flourish a little bit more and you can really press some of the best people in the world. So 2v2 is a, is a pretty equal playing field for a lot of people, I would say. And Koi are that team, that press. That's exactly what they did in the Gamers 8 qualifier. They dropped in the very first round and beat uh, huge teams at the time, like Optic and was it G2 or something like that? Uh, but this was a tough match to predict because of Team Secret. How much you have respect for the region and this team in particular, where I think they uh, produce a lot more respect after how they performed at Worlds, which typically uh maybe sam or just this team struggles of getting out of wild card but this time they did they had wins over elevate over oxygen took games off of ssg and had a respectable fight against carmine corp and falcons when it came to the group stage and you really lean on someone like kv1 from team secret to excel in a format like this yeah i i always look for for kv1 i think when prepping for the world championship he was definitely the player that caught my eye the most on team, team secret but that's just because i i really appreciated his approach in particular to the game he's a very dangerous type of challenging player out there in the midfield he really makes teams work hard to get the ball around him and even if you do get it around him he's done it in such a way that it makes it very playable for his team behind him to make a play and get out so there's a lot of really good structure there for that team secret uh, roster. It was, a, it was a disappointing world championship, obviously going 13th to 16th, ended a lot earlier than they would have liked, but you don't want to sleep on them. That is for sure. And, and just because they went out 13, 16, it doesn't mean that you're going to just be able to be like, yeah, we're North American Koi. We're going to come in here and smack on South America. That's what we've done for years. It's just like, that's that's a terrible mistake to make if you think you're going to just walk over here and steamroll Team Secret yeah. just because they're from a, a newer region. That That's, a, that's a, a big bonehead moment, and you are waiting to be disappointed <laughs> if you do that. Yeah, get called a bonehead by Achieves. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> um, a, only if true. <laughs> only if, big if true. But... South America are that extremely competitive and tight region and Team Secret have been at the top there, have not missed a regional, have gotten top four, and you saw their peak potential at a land major, uh, speaking back to the fall major, where they got top four. KB1 got a defensive MVP there. So mm -hmm. you saw the potential that Team Secret can have in these high stakes competitions against other regions. And you got to hope that out the gates that Team Secret can, well, represent the region well. Yeah, and, and I would give them a pretty decent shot at potentially making it out of this group stage. Obviously, Rule 1 is a whole different uh, ballpark uh, compared to Koi, <laughs> but... One never knows. A lot of things happen in that lower bracket. If things work out, I, I give Team Secret a decent chance at it. So uh, overall, Group D, I think, shaping out as we expected so far with version one win. But across the board, uh, if you've missed anything today, G2 did in fact end up defeating Optic Gaming 3-0, and they will move on to the upper bracket finals against Oxygen uh, to everybody's surprise. So who knows if, if Jory is out there uh, is taking souls from Zen. <laughs> I, I, oxygen can totally beat G2, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I was just listening to CJ and Shogun before our casting. Oh, the era of Zen is dead. And, you know, <laughs> we gotta get that engagement up. You know, we gotta bait the replies. Gotta well, farm. If, if Vitality don't make it out of groups, th this would be wild. They're, they are gonna be going up against Gladiators, who, uh, well, didn't win a, win a match at Worlds. So I think Vitality should be good there, unless they just don't play their third player. So uh, then semifinals, they'll have to wait for Optic and Ground Zero. So we'll see if Optic can bounce back after getting 3 0 by G2, which yeah. I thought that would have been closer. Yeah, tough bounce, especially because Optic has been playing pretty well. Uh, against G2 historically, at least recently, of course. So uh, unlucky a little bit for them, but what can you do? G2 was looking absolutely in form at the World Championship. It hasn't been that long uh, since that <laughs> happened, so not too surprised that G2 came in there and absolutely dropped the hammer on them, but uh, it's okay. Optic Gaming, it'll be a long road out, especially with Team Vitality lurking down there. So uh, oopsie daisies. Uh, so I guess if you want to be mad at anyone Optic, uh, be mad at Vitality for losing to Oxygen. Because uh, <laughs> then uh, that you probably would have had a good chance to make it out of Group A. But anyway, that's all of the stuff that's been happening over anyway. on the A stream. 
uh, earlier, of course, over on the B stream, as you can see, or may have seen, or if you're just tuning in over here on the B stream, Twisted Minds was looking pretty good. Unfortunately, faltered against BDS in the 1v1. Venom is going to be kicking himself for dumping that ball into the floor on zero seconds when Monkey Moon gave him the freest goal ever. Uh, and Genji was able to get the job done in the upper semifinals. So they're all looking pretty good, feeling pretty good over in that upper B side. But uh, that lower bracket quarterfinals from Group B is going to be crazy. Ninjas in pajamas versus Twisted Minds up first. A lot of crazy stuff to come up tomorrow. But yeah. enough about all that. Who cares? We're on the B stream. <laughs> <laughs> we have group B and group D. We got the best and the dust here. I'm excited. They're excited. I mean, this was a bit, it's been a long travel for most of these teams, unless you're from Mina already. So look, look how lasered in everybody looks. We're ready to get into this match shortly. This will be our second quarterfinal match. And here we have it. Team Secret versus Koi. And it's been a long time since I've actually got to see Gyro on the pitch at least in a match I've been casting, so I'm very excited to get to see him again, at least in person. And I will see if uh, if rumors of his demise have been greatly exaggerated <laughs> or not. I hate when your demise get posted on the internet. Is it misinformation? <laughs> it's not something I've never seen before. Everybody kissing in the air, but I've completely whiffed the ball, so it gives possession to Koi. But with the demos kind of slowing down the pitch, Gyro. Oh. Crossing in front of the net dangerously. But we'll have to give this one up soon. So far, it's a fairly even contest a minute in. Nobody really able to find any type of solid footing. This really just does feel like the the parry repost exchange of blows from both teams, just seeing if anyone's gonna make a misstep that will really allow them to come through and take a lot of space. Match is gonna be cool. We got kind of that dark horse, the dark fish of North America versus Team Secret, who are on the up and up since their world's qualification, since getting into groups. Boy, well, you know, they didn't go to worlds, so if you didn't do enough research, you'd have been okay. Team Secret went to worlds, Koi didn't. I have Team Secret in my bracket. Well, Koi have upset a lot of people in their Gamers 8 qualifier. Like I said, that lower bracket run beating teams that on paper were much better than them. Gotta expect the unexpected when it comes to Koi. That Canadian of Sosa almost driving that in. Well, he should be putting in the grind. This is definitely by far and away their biggest tournament of the year, very likely. Best opportunity to cash in on the long season. Team Secret looking to regain a little bit of respect. Is the, I'm not sure if respect is the word I want. <laughs> but belief in themselves, perhaps, heading into the next season. Maybe Koi, not going the world. You got that edge because you got to uh, practice your ones and your twos. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Secret, just obviously only focusing on threes, but they put the edge where they went an international land recently. So the nerves hopefully not getting to them. Bounce from cheese, hits the cross. Team Secret hope to generate some space here. Kind of crazy. But are just trapped. Yeah, trapped is the right word. Team Secret dude, completely unable to find any type of room to maneuver here on the defensive side of things. And finally, you can see Knight just forcing that ball on a dribble and he scores. Oh, that's devastating for Koi. Imagine being on the attack for 90 seconds and then you get crushed on 150 and you instantly concede. The self pass from Knight and she didn't know where that was going. Maybe she just gone for a bump or something was caught lacking. Team Secret, not lacking in offense despite barely having one thus far, as you mentioned. But Sosa, this gyro to his left, KV1 on the wall. All goes right into Team Secret's lap. Or at least haven't been able to have too many amazing clears, but it's just the one counter attack, the one Gonna attack to rule them all is maybe all that <laughs> Team Secret need. So far, that might be the case because I'm. It's kind of surprising to see them still get pushed back Aww. when they just missed that midfield boost. He's gonna let Gyro <laughs> see if maybe he own goals it. Little cheeky idea there from Team Secret, but if, if you're Secret here, you, you want to, as soon as possible, stop getting boxed into your own half because I, I don't care who you are. If you're letting a team press you uh, for too long, you will eventually concede. 
Yeah, you're about to be called a bonehead again by Achieves <laughs> if, if you were getting baited into own goal. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, but didn't happen. Thank God there. Team Secret on the offense this time. Finally able to break out. They're sad. Almost setting up KV1. Chased away nice. by Sosa. And Knight steps up and strikes true. You can see everybody on Koi out of boost at a critical time. The ball's floating in front of the net. They all get scared. They all dive at anything that they think they can get their hands on to find a clear. And KV1 just says, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pop this ball straight up and let my teammate come shoot it. <laughs> Good start from Team Secret, despite us being worried about how shaky they look. Just being so out there by Koi at the beginning. Both offenses that Team Secret have had haven't been stopped, or maybe maybe three. But Team Secret looked good. AV1 pushing through on the right side, ready to cross in front of the net. It's a long pass over to their third man of Sad. Steps up, good rotations from Secret to kind of just try and fake where the play is coming from. Oh. Koi able to stop it in time. And Gyro so frustrated right there. He was in a good position to try and capitalize and take possession, but he didn't have the boost. He had to let the play develop a little bit longer, and that resulted in some extra time being wasted off the clock just because he couldn't go and win the ball. And Secret very likely now to close this out. Ooh. Sosa open net will convert, and maybe not just yet. Great spot from Sosa, too. I thought this was a 50, but this is just cheese winning that challenge. Sosa all ready finally swing at it and Koi get on the board but for the first time all game you gotta worry about this but at least this you know, losing here gives you a choice of what your format is next and avoiding ones is always helpful for Koi at least unless they've drummed up something special during their break before uh during worlds i should say a couple more seconds though for Koi to tie things up they move down to the green side of the field cheese this has his ball sent away and Team Secret take game one. Solid game one. I, I was worried. I will admit that first, you know, 90 seconds felt relatively uncomfortable. It was good if you're a Koi fan to kind of watch them and say, yeah, box that Team Secret uh, defense into their own half for a while. But that's kind of the way we've always kind of seen Team Secret, especially at some of the other international events they've been at. They've got an incredibly dangerous defense. It is a tough nut to crack. They kind of just sit there, hunker down, and say, good luck. You have to go find some type of way through with some type of demo or something like that, uh, or an incredibly mechy play, which unfortunately I'm not sure anyone on Koi's got those types of mechs to beat that, <laughs> those three players, I will say. So a lot of work to be done there for Koi, but the press was there. And so the finishing will maybe improve it a little bit. Maybe that gets them a few more opportunities to tie things up sooner or maybe take some leads. But uh, in short, that Team Secret defense, I should never have doubted them. I should have known better. Ah, you should have. How could you not Now be I'm the bonehead. <laughs> and drink your tea. Maybe it's the smart juice or the dumb juice. We'll figure it out. I don't want to make you spit, though. But we're going to be spitting some facts because our next format, guess what? Twos. We mm. guessed each other. We had our little crystal ball and script put together. Cheese and Gyro uh, playing twos where they looked very solid. They'll be going up against Sad and KV1. So at least dropping threes has some benefit. And I like the choice of KV1 with Sad. You kind of want to see... Uh, I wouldn't want to see KV1 with Knight, mostly because they both tend to fill the same role over in their three squads. They're both relatively defensive-minded, so they take Sad to have a little bit more offensive firepower in the two side of things. Like the idea there. Yeah. It's kind of interesting with uh, Koi where they opted for Cosmic in ones, but then didn't play him in twos. So most teams that I was seeing play their ones players in twos. So Koi would feel pretty comfortable with this being their format. Of course, if we do to go to game four, you'll have to play ones. You'll have to cook something. Team Secret, how will they do? Oh man. In their twos, where they usually prefer ones, but this is an opening oh, for Team this. Secret. Can oh. one cleans it up? You got the Chiefs just freaking out, guys. They scared me, man. I, I thought that after <laughs> KV1 absolutely annihilated those 50s and got sad the ball, he was just going to score. And even then, after he missed, I thought KV1 might have just hit it off the inside of the post. And thankfully, all of that was incorrect, and it was able to go in because I was going to be very sad to see all that good work go to waste. <laughs> just a fake, bro. I didn't whiff it. <laughs> <laughs> just a fake. Um... 
Game Secret on the boy board first. Good passes between KB1 and Sad. Koi trying to read it, trying to slow it down. Last layer of cheese. Uh, gross. Uh, in the net. <laughs> <laughs> it stops it, so that's cool. <laughs> Not the last layer of cheese here gets absolutely devoured. KV1 wins another 50. How about a second one? Cheese just thinking he can just take the ball off him. Oh, that's a rookie mistake. KV1, he's just moving it on you. Yeah, Koi playing a little too close. He's just kind of not covering up space with how Team Secret are able to cross boundaries and get really creative with it just like these passes she's trying to be one step away ahead of it but here comes sad gyro the pre-jump able to save it initially and bounces himself into the ball to generate some space to try and go for the clear he's demoed out i believe and team secret try to move forward but their defense is getting pushed back a little low on boost. They all restock, but they missed the 50 as well. You would have liked to see that demo come through for Gyro to give Koi a chance to stay in possession and cheese. Ooh, absolutely cooked there in the midfield. Did not realize that flip reset was coming. Okay, cheese. Some shots coming out of Koi. Not a lot, but... You know, having one shot is how you generate a goal. KV1 wanted the double tap, though, and... Important to get the second touch in one of those. Sadness off the cross and his friend not on the left side, nowhere to be found. KV1 with the safe positioning all the way back, not knowing what KV1 could, or what Koi really could be drumming up. And it's Cheese is trying to pressure his way in and Gyro oh. with the shot saved at the goal line. Tossed on the floor, Team oh. Secret can barely get this out. Shot after shot, Koi not on the board yet. Massive defensive stop. You love to see that, and Sadness also not own going there. You can see him backflip off on the goal line to prevent uh, giving Koi one back. But the challenge game from Team Secret, absolutely stunning right now. Sadness wants to tuck this into the left side. Cheese will close the door on him. And Koi, seeing if maybe they can find a way, but that KV1 challenge game, man, it is so good. Yeah, Team Secret. Perfect game so far. Oh, we'll score! And just kidding. I spread misinformation and I lied to you all. Koi finally scored. I thought KV1 made the right choice here. He realized he wasn't going to make it. Peeled off, but it was a split second too late. Ended up giving up just enough of a lane into the center of the net there. And a great shot from Koi to capitalize on a slight overextension from KV1. Can't underestimate Koi. Keep themselves in the game. Seeker put on the pressure, sadness with the challenge, and it's kind of Gyro that almost got away with it. If it wasn't for Team Secret, kind of recovering from that, slowing the play down. As Team Secret prepare their defense. Sadness tries to go above and beyond, quite literally. She's ready at the midfield line. Team Secret aren't being really too threatened. It's oh, no. Getting caught off guard just like this that Corey keeps scoring on them. So here's kind of the issue here. KV1 takes this ball up the wall and starts to go for an air dribble. Now, what was wrong with that? He had 27 boosts trying to do it. <laughs> he was never going to get that ball anywhere. And I think maybe he was expecting Sadness to try and demo or bump the guy where that ball was going, but Sadness was just thinking, you have no boost. I'm, I'm going to wait here in case you drop it. And with their powers combined, they allow an equalizer. From a zero gold deficit to now a tie game with a minute left. Boy, got that dog in him, but KB1's done playing around. Just trying to dribble his way through to the backboard. Sadness the pop-up slow down koi really keep them trapped in sadness well, sad just didn't get the challenge he was hoping for here's some possession for koi needing to be threatening gets past the one defender right into kb1's lap though does a great job of pushing it out little bit of room here for sadness trying to get a cheeky goal tucked into that near post kb1 a little tester as well you like seeing Cheese boost efficiency there. Not wasting too much, just wants to take the distance. Last chance maybe belonging to Koi here. Last second. 
Here's KV1, the hero that Team Secret needs. Cheese with the slight touch gets us away from him. It's at couldn't keep it going, so OT begins. OT begins. Big opportunity here for Koi. Secret have kind of let you back into this one with a couple of strange errors in decision making. You have to capitalize here in this crew battle format because you know that 1v1 doesn't look Ooh. good, but oh, so close. Sadness dishes out to KV1 and Cheese is able to react. Team Secret thwarted at the doorstep and Gyro will just smash that ball down the pitch for a little bit of room to breathe. Yeah, Sad had a real chance to just make us all forget how this game two has at least ended up in that second half, which like you said, uh, Team Secret running out of gas, but here's KV1 with the reset and good early challenges from Koi just to shake up that possession. Oh. As Sad has to control into the corner, made out Koi, Sad. Chase that up, KV1 with a <laughs> shot to the back of the net, and Team Secret take OT. I would love to know what was going on in KV1's brain right here. He's just like, do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay? And then <laughs> somehow he's, he's able to find the, the willpower to stay as tight as possible to that play instead of that ball getting cleared over his head and maybe put in a dangerous situation uh, to score that game winner. But sad way to put the work in at the corner uh, of the pitch to get that ball middle. And Koi, unfortunately, down 0-2, but that was it. If you felt like they were going to take one and find a way to maybe take advantage in the series, that was it, and it just slipped away from you. And it's gone. But what's not gone is Team Secret, who are on match point. 2-0, going back to threes. And if y'all don't have a memory, threes was quite close. 2-1. Team Secret, yeah, had kind of the shutout situation happening in the first half. They seem to have us in the first half a lot until they kind of start to let go of their grip of their opponent. But hey, I, I like an exciting series, so I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be too surprised, but uh, if we saw something similar in, in game three as well, it's just Team Secret's play style is so based around that. We're going to sit back here. We're going for the counterattacks. Beat us if you can. And unfortunately, at least in my mind, it's unfortunate. I'm sure to them, they don't really mind because it's just how they play. But to me, it's like, man, if, if you think you're the better team here, you should be going out there. You should be controlling things because you never want to give teams uh, an opportunity to beat you. And, and Koi has almost done it twice now. Yeah, you guys heard it from a chief. Stop letting teams beat you. Okay, just go out, th go out there and win. Just win. Hey. In the, in the immortal words of Jorby. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like win. a six-year-old interview. <laughs> really? Wow. Just, just win. <laughs> uh, do the thing. That's what we're doing in game three. Back to threes with Team Secret getting their net just hammered. Just waking up to this to a whole new Koi is cool to see. Yeah, wake up, smell the coffee. You're playing defense again if you're Team Secret. But right now, you like this initial press here. A lot of slashing touches in towards the center, forcing some odd angles of challenges. And Team Secret just keeping themselves positioned on the corners of the pitch to try and find a way to cut that ball back middle after Koi just get locked into the corner. I feel so awkward being the third man coming into threes, like after your twos, two loses. <laughs> hey guys, like, I'm still here. Uh, guys, <laughs> don't worry. I'll carry trust <laughs> that's what you got to be saying if you're Sosa or if you're a uh, knight on the other side because it's team secret on match point Koi you know they got that lower bracket buff you know they lost that first match in the qualifier and then ran through all the ways to the final so maybe that's what they need it's just a wake-up call there <laughs> like to see KV1 take control of the ball with a dribble, obviously he gets the ball taken off of him, but that's that's what I want to see out of Team Secret on their own hat. Bring the ball down, trap it, force Koi to come take it off you. Team Secret, not used to being on the defense so much compared to how the last threes match went. It's kind of these unpredictable Oops. times, just like this from Koi with these random challenges, and Sosa makes his... Uh, no. Koi's structure here is is literally just everyone drive left and right, follow the ball, <laughs> see if you win a 50, and voila, we score. You're telling me that's not how you play Rocket League? No ball chasing? <laughs> it's, it's bold, that's all I'll say. <laughs> ball chasing seems to work for teams like Sa and Koi and something teams like Team Secret oh, are not ball. used to. Oh, you gotta score that! <laughs> Make it achieves mad. Do better. 
it's it's just tragic. I, I, I mean, Team Secret is is the favorite team here, and, and if you find a nice, you know, wide open net like that with a teammate's demo, it's gotta at least be on target. Well, this could be on target. He's not quite ready as the ball crosses. I don't even know how that's not going in. These teams are playing a lot faster. Not sure if fast just means better. <laughs> it definitely doesn't mean better, it seems, in your eyes, but... Hey, faster is winning. good, but it is not always better. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is tough here if you're secret, because uh, you, you walked right back into the same issue you were having in game one, but... Who am I to say? They ended up winning anyway. KV1 gets oh. a little bump. Sad needs a little help. There it is, and they will score. Well, that's the opening. Team Secret needed to get the bumps in the right places. If Koi are going to be all over the place, let them. Then we're going to also let this ball in the back of the net. 1-1 one, one going into the second half. Team Secret staying in this and slowly but surely making those improvements that they need to get the sweep they hope for. So, you know, because I mean, Koi want to also avoid the next game because once don't necessarily favor them against yep. a player as good as KB1. Unfortunately, that that's kind of the ace up the sleeve, right? If your team secret, even if you end up dropping a 3v3 right here, you're just saying, well, KB1 will just go in the 1v1, right? It's... Right. Well, at least that's what you think. Oh, <laughs> huge <laughs> read. KB1 just says, no, you, you, we're done letting you through the midfield line. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the battle has taken place, but Sosa breaks through, which is dumping the ball in. Not, not a great touch from KV1, and you saw Koi approach as a ball was almost centered out in front of the net. Here's Sosa down low. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cleans it up for Koi. This is gorgeous from Koi. You love the vision from Gyro spotting Sosa up there. And the more important thing, the trust, the belief that he's going to get it back down to you and you're going to score a beauty. That's a pretty goal. You deserve that one, Koi. Felt like volleyball, too, when you had the a spike, spike down at baby. the ground. <laughs> and two, block, two six foot five blockers jump up just to have enough coverage. And somehow you sliced it right in the middle, a needle in the haystack. And Koi take a lead. The last minute here, and here's Team Secret's counterattack. Looking for the bounce off the backboard. Great save by Gyro. Maybe angled towards the cross. Either way, he looks cool doing it. KV1 starting to back away, going back for boost. Stepping up here is Knight to keep that pressure going for Team Secret. KV1 wanted that touch, and that's a whiff from Team Secret. But at least buying time for rotations to come back for Team Secret. This counterattack is deadly. Gyro just needed a little bit of that follow-up. They were right on there. Could have extended the lead to three. What can you do? KV1, Sad, and Knight. Do you have one more in the tank here? At 21 seconds. Seeker get the demo. They move forward down the red carpet. She's not a great touch. It almost crosses over. Gyro forgives it. Stuffs it back to the corner where it belongs. Knight to Sadness to the corner as Team Secret keep Koi trapped in this orange end. Looking for that time goal, <laughs> but it's down to the ground and Koi stay alive. Ah, that's why that defensive structure, sometimes it, it doesn't do you all the good you hope it can. If that opponent has the enough ability to blunt the counter stroke when you finally break out of your own half, it can be quite difficult to regain control because you send it all on that counter attack when you're a team like Team Secret. Koi was able to find an answer to some of those pushes. They find a way to win game three. And now we get the mm -hmm. 1v1. KV1 they, is gonna put on a show, I think. Yeah, and they don't call you a cheese for being dumb. You called it cheese is going in for the 1v1. Excited for this. Um, a lot of hype behind this player. Definitely one of the most talented ones. Man, we'll see. You know, he has played ones, but is he... Can he put a stop to KV1? That'll be the question of the day. That is going to be interesting, because, I, I mean, you, if uh, if you look at what Cheese can do here, you know, like you said, there's a lot of respect for Cheese in, in some of the pros, uh, pros' eyes, you know, opportunities maybe if he performs well in this tournament. 
to end up, you know, maybe getting picked up to a better team with uh, with roster shuffles about to happen now that the season's over. If he puts on a good show here, who knows? Maybe Cheese has been grinding the 1v1 super hard to be like, yep, I'm the next great 1v1 talent, because that's kind of where a lot of the, the big threes players is coming from now is the 1v1 sphere. And that's where we kind of hypothesize would be the edge for Koi of, okay, you didn't have to worry about all these majors, these silly worlds tournaments. You could focus on what really matters, <laughs> your ones game. <laughs> and that's where, well, the, the uh, cryo chamber help Cheese especially try to see if he has enough skill to go past kv1 oh it's a flick boy. above and what? not something cheese could slow down in time i am trying to figure out what kv1's plan here was uh he just drove left to start shadow defense and then just oh, that was cheese. stopped <laughs> and cheese was like i guess i'm just flicking the ball that was <laughs> like kv1 just gave him <laughs> that for free that was so weird I'm just really satisfied with the colors right now, you know, Brazilian team in green, the cheese <laughs> guy on the orange. It feels right. <laughs> Feeling very cheddar right now. And he's getting that cheddar too. I mean, just scoring on KV1 off the bat and just kind of depositing this, making him flip, making him sweat in the net. There's KV1 with a chance and she just robs him like taking candy from a baby. Oh, and he no. KV1 can't get back in time. Gotta stop being clever kv1 you're gonna have to take much better care of the ball cheese has put in the work so it seems he's just gonna pick you apart he's gonna say look you're gonna have to do something if you want to beat me you can't just hope i'm gonna mess up yeah i was molded by the ones cheese well you messed up the kickoff but it's okay once kickoffs that was in the next chapter kv1 keeps himself in the game yeah, the 1v1 50 uh, kickoff game, not 50. The 1v1 kickoff game is, has quite a surprising amount of depth to it. <laughs> it's all a, a timing angles there. You can see KV1 trying to use his flip to get a wave dash landing and get that quick recovery. Air dribble bump. Nice dodge from Cheese. And then with the high five, too slow and completely missed it. And Cheese seems to implore a lot of speed see if he can get past kv1 and punish those rotations especially taking nice. advantage of having more boosts and then kv1 not able to get out of the situation gives cheese a decent lead excellent air dribble there from cheese he just kind of took that ball up the sidewall and he notices kv1's positioning it's tight to the near post so the hardest most difficult save for him is going to be that upper left hand corner and Cheese does a great job getting the car behind the center of the ball to make sure that when that challenge comes through, he gives himself the best chance of getting the dunk, and he nails it. KV1 finding himself in the hole early, and he might be down another one here. This, oh, not a favorable bounce. Stayed out to the center of the pitch instead of out in front of net. And Cheese oh. is just absolutely <laughs> making KV1 work for it. My goodness. They're both tripping each other up, and that's a good shot by KV1. Plays high. And always keeps himself within the one goal territory of cheese man i love kv1 you can see with the car control and the camera especially hit that flick instantly took ball cam off he was staring daggers at cheese's car as that ball was coming down waiting for the right moment to go and attack it casting with you and casting cheese is so hard i almost said a cheese i'm pretty sure <laughs> i said a cheese it's early enough that i would make a blunder like that game secret look at him just Jet nice. sail across and deposit that in the bank, and we're all tied up. The KV-150 game comes to fruition here, and again, he's staring at Cheese right there, and as soon as he sees him jump, instantly cuts out to the right to manipulate the angle of the challenge and goes right under him. Great challenge uh, manipulation from KV-1. Cheese might be good at the speed, but KV-1's challenge game seems to be superior. As you said, Cheese, with the shot, forces the attention of KV1 and went to the corner for boost. Ooh. We'll see if that resource advantage will help him out here. She's running out of that. Nice. There's a chance for KV1 to put a shot in a little too high. KV1 wants to keep Cheese trapped, but not play too close in case Cheese tries to flick it above him again. Yeah. A good distance there from KV1. Yeah, KV, you're exactly right. KV1 was, oh, hard flick to the back post, and he secures the corner boost. KV1 has been trying to focus a little more on picking up uh, the boost to try and starve out 
uh, cheese and prevent him from really being able to make a controlled effort on the ball. He wins a 50, but he can't cut it down. But again, you see him picking up all these boosts around the edge of the pitch and saying, look, you won't have the boost to do anything you want to do. So I'm just going to control the whole pitch. And then when it comes time to it, I'm going to be the guy with boost and possession to try and make something happen. Ooh, we got this is the closest ones game we've had and we've only casted two <laughs> being the second one. So I'm down for it. AV1 proven to have quite a challenge against what we predicted to be a, one of the weaker one teams, Ooh. but Cheese slips through. Cheese, just a little bit of KV1's own medicine here. He saw how KV1 out, out 50 him in the last time, so you can see him cut to the outside of the ball, knowing that KV1's only angle to clear it is going to be right back up the middle, so he just lets him hit it right into him. Great contest from Cheese there. Oh, and another kickoff. Boy. Back. Well, I was <laughs> about to say, you know, Cheese getting one back after it felt like KV1 had a bunch of unanswered goals in a row. KB1's uh, kickoff game, still better. Immaculate. Wow. It's just, a, it's all about timing, all about the angle at which you hit the ball, and KB1 super dialed in on that front. Ooh, we got KB1 scared there. All right, she's flinging it to the backboard. KB1 protects it and has a huge bounce to it, gives Whoa. time for Cheese huge to collect boost some boost. Uh, yeah, <laughs> huge advantage, doesn't matter. KV1 with a double tap. KV1 just went full pirate mode there. Like, that was crazy. You you saw him turn around in the midfield. It's like, look, you have the ball. You have the boost advantage. Come, take a shot. And then as Cheese circles around, KV1 disappears behind the ball for a split second. And that's when he comes charging right through the center of it. And Cheese is like, yo, you went for that? That's crazy. I was crazy once. Uh, 106, five to four, Team Secret. See if they can win off of this ones match. They don't call them KV ones for nothing, but Cheese has put up such a good fight so far. KV one is trying to outplay Cheese here. For some, for a challenge that KV one take advantage of. For KV one's challenge game has been better most of the time. Oh, and he gets it past Cheese who has enough boost to race back. This won't be an open net situation. <laughs> Keep away. KV1 just back passes. <laughs> it says, yeah, no, you don't get the ball. I'm just going to waste as much time off the clock as I can. Cheese might have overextended here. And KV1 just kind of throwing everything at him to see if he'll make a mistake and waste more time as smack towards the net. It's just wide. But KV1 absolutely playing this the right way. It's keep away and push Cheese off the ball when you get the chance. Cheese needs to see this and go for boost. This will be your last chance. Has Take a bunch again. of it. Koi. Cheese has to go all the way downfield. He has no help. Oh. Only himself. Not enough air to it. Team Secret will take the series and move on to the semis. Excellent. Excellent display in the 1v1 game there from Cheese, though. Uh, huge credit to him. What, what can you do? KV1, two kickoff goals, and then a bunch more excellently played challenges. But you could see the slight edge there for KV1, and, and that's the best way to put it, slight. He controlled a lot more of the boost. He was willing to give up possession on certain plays if it meant limiting Cheese's options. And he definitely said, look, I'm the one in control here. Yes, you're keeping it close. You're making some good plays, but now I'm dialed in. Now I'm the one controlling it. Now I know what you're up to. And Cheese just couldn't find an answer after that. This was, I think, a good series. Overall, I know a lot of people just weren't sure. It's, these are some weird teams to try and predict, right? You got Team Secret, such a big representative of Sam, who went further than we thought at Worlds, you know, making it out of wild card to getting to this point. Came out the gate super strong offensively, despite being trapped defensively. It was some counterattacks that you had to watch out for. For Koi, where this underdog that came in, where they got so far, they went all the way to the finals in the Gamers A qualifier. No one knew what to expect of them. Yeah, really well played uh, game from Koi overall. Unfortunately, not enough to get it done. That deep qualifier run, unfortunately not enough to get them through the first round as Team Secret equal to the task. So well played Team Secret, well deserved W, but I am very curious to see more of Koi because I think with a little more extra time as this tournament goes on, maybe their teams tomorrow uh, and games tomorrow will go a little bit better. 
Yeah, it sounds like we actually may have an interview this time. I know I kind of lied to you guys <laughs> pretty much just ran away. I was just making sure you were going to stay tuned. Sometimes we get interviews, sometimes the players run away and they disappear into the shadows, but we we got our man uh, we got our man on the scene ready to to grab them. Just kidding, I lied again. Oh, they got to go get him first. Oh. They have to say, "Look, man, go celebrate first. Hurry Come up, back wrap in your a controller. <laughs> we got content to wrap make. Wrap up your gear. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't paid by the hour. Let's go. <laughs> but vamos. I was really excited to see Team Secret today. We have the coach that'll be uh, jumping in in a second, and I was I was happy with how Team Secret performed. The last time I cast with them, they actually played Complexity, which I thought they put up a good fight at Worlds um, and had a respectable fight against the teams they faced at groups we got our coach of team secret on the line speaking of which hello congratulations how's Ria treating you how were the travels it was hard like it's a lot of travel <laughs> it was probably like 30 <laughs> hours for light so holy that was that was oh. harsh but we we did a good schedule to to get uh, get good for the for the matches so we are okay with it now we know your your first match here against Koi, probably the, the favorite for you guys, obviously, but not a freebie. Were you a little bit surprised by by how stiff Cheese was able to play that one v one against uh, against KV one? Yeah, and I think it's the first time that KV one played one v one in LAM, so uh, he was just warming up for the next ones. Cheese was really good, really good. Uh, I have to say that, but KV one was better. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear, um, and I'm sure you're a happy coach when all your hard work uh, happens on the field. This is a, an interesting format. You just performed at Worlds. It was great to see you there, and then, you know, got a quick go back to the chamber to, to prepare for this format. And I'd love to know how you prepared for ones and twos, and how many hours went into for this? Yeah, I, I, we. it's strange because, like, we don't have a specific format for our screams and everything. We with each team we we played one way, but like in ones, Cave One have ranked games that is same as Scream, so that was okay. But with twos and trees, we had we had to alternate between them to to practice practice it. And yeah, I think it, it was it's all it was okay. But the format is really really cool and interesting to play. Do you feel like it gives you a, a better opportunity against some of the stronger teams in your group like Liquid or, or uh, Rule 1 potentially uh, and version 1 of course? Do you think that instead of it only being 3v3 is that a benefit for you guys versus teams like that? No, I think uh, our all the game modes that we have are pretty stable like trees, twos and ones I think my team uh, can do well. I think they can do well as well because they have good players. That's why they are awesome in, in trees. And like, it's gonna be a battle between uh, which teams uh, have more chemistry in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could tell you guys have great chemistry. And uh, rule one is your next opponent. Uh, okay, I'm glad I didn't lose you there. Rule one is your next opponent. I really wanted to know what you think about how that semifinal is going to go. Yeah, rule one is good. Like, we we are prepared for them, but they are a tougher opponent than Koi was. And I think we can perform well, but uh, the series can go either way. Uh, I'm looking forward to an exciting series. Best of luck to you. Thank you for taking the time for the interview and uh, go rally your players. Good luck in the next match. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye bye. I like Bruno. He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got to meet him. He seems really cool. I mean, uh, I, the casting booth was so far at Worlds compared to where the players were. That's like running over there in the shoes that I had. But I, I wish them luck and spirit. Yes, that's all we can do. But we <laughs> must continue on onwards and upwards, as we like to say. So when we come back, Gamers AB Stream will continue with our uh, scheduled matches. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs>